Oh, and right now, now there's stun grenades being put out or some sort of sound bobs, and they're putting up, they're raising the Palestinian flag. This was a sad day in American history. This video will probably get taken down, so if you're watching now, I'm glad you are, because this will probably be your last chance. Anti-Israel rioters tore down the American flag outside Union Station in the U.S. Capitol and raised a Palestine flag in its place. This is the beginning of the end. If you give these people what they want, which is a U.S. government that does not support Israel, then you will see this all over your own neighborhoods. This image taken not long ago sends chills down my spine. Our nation's capital under the Palestine flag. And it wasn't just one flag either. It was all three outside Union Station. Now luckily, because of X, we see all these different angles of today's horrible events. Now we need to pay very close attention to what ends up happening to these people who did this. Are they going to go to jail? or do we just have to pay for a night in custody for them? Now, I think you probably already know the answer to that, so I have another question for you. Do you want a president who locks up these people who vandalizes your country's flag or one that accepts it? You know, Harris skipped Netanyahu's speech today, so these so-called protesters believe what they're doing is working. Even though none of their brains have fully matured, if they see something that's working, they'll keep doing it. You know, Harris called for a ceasefire and talked about Islamophobia in America shortly after the October 7th attacks so you know which side she's on. There must be an immediate ceasefire. She will let thousands of American flags burn if it means becoming president. The thing you have to understand is that there is one side that is continually violent in their protest, and there is one side that is peaceful. This is the Israel Day Parade in New York City. It was scheduled with a permit, and the mission was to bring our hostages home. And these are various pro-Palestine protests throughout the country. I challenge you to find one pro-Israel protest where they initiated any type of violence. If America doesn't take the hardest stance possible on mobs like this, we will succumb to them. It's what's happening in London, and it's what's happening in Paris. Don't don't be naive that it can't happen in America. It is quite literally happening right before your eyes. Just listen to what these people are saying and then remember that the September 11th attacks was only 23 years ago. This is a video of buses driving in all of these pro-Palestine protesters. The question we should be asking is who is paying for it? Is it Qatar or is it Iran? This is all happening in the middle of the workday too. So these people don't have jobs, which means they don't have cars, so they need a bus driver. When they arrived, they got to their version of work. Most of the protesters today looked like this. You can tell that there's a little confusion as to which direction that they're trying to go in. The level of intention of this isolated incident at the event should be treated with the same level as an attack on this nation. This is a large mob worshipping an internationally recognized terror organization. I leave you with a quote from the congressman from Texas. This is not free speech, this is an act of terror. If you want to watch more episodes of The Nate Friedman Show, subscribe and drop a comment on what you'd like to see me cover next.